What about length? How long should a paragraph be? Maybe you learned in school that there's a five sentence paragraph. Does that mean all paragraphs should be five sentences? No, it does not. There's really no minimum or maximum length for a paragraph as a hard and fast rule, but I would suggest that you avoid very short paragraphs. So one or two sentence paragraphs are probably too short. Maybe occasionally you could get by with that, but in scientific writing, that's typically too short. And you should probably avoid very long paragraphs. Once you get to 200 and to, to or 250 words, you're probably going to be better off to break that into two different paragraphs. It's best if the paragraphs vary in length. If every paragraph is exactly the same length, it becomes a little bit strange for the reader. It becomes kind of monotonous and predictable. I wouldn't spend a lot of effort on trying to intentionally make the paragraphs different. I think that's naturally going to happen. But if you notice that your paragraphs are turning out pretty much all the same length, you might go back and edit them to make a little bit of variation there. Now, one of the things we want to talk about is the purpose of a paragraph. We already talked about the purposes of writing, but within the writing itself, we can have purposes for different paragraphs. So some examples of purposes of a paragraph include narration. So you might be reporting related events to tell a story. You might be describing something or some event. You might be comparing different things or different outcomes. You might be arguing or, in other words, developing a logical position, such as a hypothesis or a conclusion. It might be a paragraph to evaluate something uh, by drawing conclusions about whether it was successful or not successful, looking at different limitations, different applications for various technologies. Or you might have a purpose to synthesize information by combining elements of previous topics to present a new perspective. You know, and there's a good chance that different paragraphs within your introduction, within your results, within your discussion will have different purposes. Now that example I showed you earlier, I said that that was a good paragraph. There are some reasons that it was a good paragraph beyond the fact that it had a topic sentence and a conclusion and it had development in the middle. So let's look at characteristics of a good paragraph. It's going to have four characteristics. Unity, coherence, and development are three that you will notice within an individual paragraph. And then distinctness you only notice when you're comparing paragraphs to each other. All right, so let's go through these. Unity means that the entire paragraph should be focused on one topic and that topic is laid out in the topic sentence. So the paragraph might have several points, but all of the points should be related to that one topic that's laid out in the topic sentence. If you have paragraphs that have multiple topics in them, readers are going to become confused and they won't really understand what you're trying to tell them or it just won't feel unified. Now, coherence means that the sentences should logically connect to each other and build on one another. And so the paragraph is moving logically as you read through the sentences. They're flowing one to the next. Development means that the paragraph should advance your overall scientific story by explaining your reasoning and supporting it with specific details. It should move your manuscript forward toward its overall goal. And so that's what we see in those middle sentences of a paragraph. Distinctness, as I mentioned, is something that you will only notice when you read an entire section and you're looking at different paragraphs. And you ask yourself, are these paragraphs covering the same topic? You should not have that. You don't want to have repetitiveness. The first paragraph in the discussion section should not be covering the same information as the third paragraph in the discussion section. You need to advance as you go through the paper. All right, so let's get into some examples of paragraphs. We'll look at some examples that are good and some examples that could be improved. We'll start with unity and coherence. So here is a paragraph. I'm going to read it to you, but if you'd like, you could also pause the video and read it. 
by yourself if you want more time. The NDROP platform encapsulates cells into droplets with lysis buffer, reverse transcription RT reagents, and barcoded oligonucleotide primers. mRNA released from each lysed cell remains trapped in the same droplet and is barcoded during synthesis of cDNA. After barcoding, material from all cells is combined by breaking the droplets, and the cDNA library is sequenced using established methods, CellSeq. The major challenge is to ensure that each droplet carries primers encoding a different barcode. We synthesized a library of barcoded hydrogel microspheres, BHMs, that are co-encapsulated with cells. Each BHM carries approximately a 109 covalently coupled photoreleasable primers encoding one of 147,456 barcodes, and the pool size could be increased in a straightforward manner. The current pool size allows randomly labeling 3,000 cells with 99% unique labeling. Many more cells can be processed by splitting a large emulsion into separate tubes. So what do you think about this paragraph in terms of unity and coherence? Do you think it's a good one? I hope you said yes, because I think it's a good one. I think it's a very good paragraph. Now I'm going to highlight some of the key terms that are used in this paragraph. All right, the first sentence is the topic sentence, and it has key terms like droplets, lysis buffer, RT reagents, barcoded primers. So as we read through the, the following sentences, we see mRNA released from each lysed cell. The phrase lysed cell reflects back to the topic sentence. So does droplet, so does barcoded, barcoding cells, droplets, droplets, primers, barcode, co-encapsulated cells, primers, barcode cells. And so you can see that each sentence is unified. It is reflecting back to that topic sentence using the same terms. Uh, you know, maybe slight variations of those terms, but those terms are all recognizable. I also feel like this paragraph has very good coherence because it is moving forward. It's going step by step, and it's describing the process that, of them developing this new technology. So I really like this paragraph.